so just to get started, what was it that drew you to Last Light when you heard about it? Uh, well, when I was first sent the script, I saw the character and it. it really, really spoke to me. She's she's so capable and she's so independent. And I love the relationship uh, that with Andy, which, you know, most of Mika's scenes, her whole story goes alongside because I thought you don't get to often see that on screen. And it's it's great. You have this kind of platonic relationship where they're both very capable. They're both on a journey um, and have a bigger picture of what they want to achieve, but they're they're going on this journey together and aiding each other in different ways and um, and ultimately, you know, both finding their goal. And it's it's really interesting to play that for me. Um, so I loved it when I saw the character. Yeah, and as you mentioned, the the platonic relationship is really interesting, and it's not as common. Uh, so was was it refreshing to kind of both your characters have families to be playing more of a, uh, a a friend ally role than than having to be like a romantic lead as well? I think I think it really was because when you take that away, uh, then you have to actually discover what what there is behind that. I think often that can almost mask um, other aspects of relationships. So for me, it was great to discover that. If you think well. Once that's taken away, now we have to work to discover what are those things and those relationships. And that makes it really interesting to go on that journey with the two of them. For sure. And you're, you know, your character is very mysterious, but also has that family motivator uh, that kind of makes her more relatable to the audience. Was it difficult to balance that badass kind of mystique side with uh, the still relatable, approachable side? Um, I mean, I... I'm hoping it worked because I haven't seen the whole series, but that's that's kind of what I was aiming for. I think it, I think I loved, I remember, you know, with the, that line where she talks about her family, and it's like we steered away from that so much with her throughout because we want to keep guessing. We want the audience to keep guessing. And that just brings it home that she's got a family. She's got, she's, she's got something that she will leave behind when she leaves her work behind. She is a different person. I think. I think we all do that. We go to work, we can be one person, we're at home with our kids, a different person. And, and you know, it's it's our own superpower being able to do that. And I, I love the fact that it kind of, you, you're unsure and then it kind of, it brings it home at the end. Absolutely. And you've done a lot of action and suspense roles. What is it about this genre that kind of appeals to you? Well, I must say, I think, Again, playing women that are very capable is a big is a big part of it, and that doesn't have to be in a physical manner at all. Um, it just happens for me that it it often can be, and I've done a lot of physical roles on screen. But um, I've always really I've always really loved you know uh, sports growing up, and I've always enjoyed doing that. So I think it combines the fact that often it's playing those very capable women with the fact that it's something that I enjoy, and it's learning different things, learning new techniques. Um, which is great. Awesome. And what's one characteristic of your character that has really stayed with you since filming, even now? Ah, oh, that's a really interesting question. I think because she's so different to probably how I am. Um, as you can hear, I I ram, I talk a lot, and I am very. Um, I'm always rushing about, and she's very. She kind of keeps a lot close to her chest, um, but. Oh, what's something that I would keep from her character? I mean, I'd hope to say just the strength, you know, her capability to be able to be, you know, 100% committed in her work. And then I imagine her as 100% committed in her other life and in her family life. And, you know, I'd hope that I'm able to do that too in my own life. Absolutely. And my last question is, um, you were also great in Punisher. What was it like to be part of such a huge cultural pillar like Marvel? Oh, well, Marvel is kind of, you know, it's, I mean, I don't think there's anything comparable. So it, it was, it was incredible to do and be part of that. I mean, you know, also playing the role, you know, regardless of if it was in Marvel or something else, but playing that character, which was, which was created that again shows, you know, she can hold her own. And and so can Mika. And that's what I love. I love I love playing those kind of characters. 